driver has been fantastic and you're hot and sweaty doing a fort or um, a palace. palace and you come out Markets. And hot and bothered and there's an air-conditioned car there for you and oh, cold, drink. cold drinks <laughs> and food, uh, nuts if you're hungry. It's just superb. Yeah. So thank you, Michelle, so much. Really exciting and, and thrilling and different and man oh man, <laughs> India has got it all. The colour, the vibrancy, the excitement, it's almost overwhelming at first but after a while you calm down and accept how India is. It is so different but in a wonderful way. In such a way that you, uh, you, you can get away from it if you can, like in a place like this, where we stay in Maharaja comfort and excellence and service, um, you can get away and be yourself and, and, and just calm down and beautiful showers and beautiful rooms, marble and carved stone and history, the history is just amazing, it just blows you away. But you can get away from it as well and get back to your little normal self uh, which is what I needed. I need every night and I'm sure everybody else does too because it is overpowering at times and um, uh, Kiwi and Tiger provides you with, with, with comfort as well, a lot of comfort and service as well and the food is to die for. Um, I've had to take, uh, uh, what, what, what have I had to take? Um, that stuff. Um, it's, it's, you can have European as well, but we've just stuck with the Indian food. Which the vegetables, eggplants, and things like that. Yeah, and, the, and the, um, everywhere you go, it's slightly different. It's not the same in every place. And, and we've had a bit of street food, which I didn't think I was going to do. And it was I didn't get an upset tummy or anything. Um, because Michelle showed us where, uh, you know, good places and um, it is just, if you can try the street food too, it is just brilliant. Good. Michelle, for it, uh, because you won't regret it, it's a once in a lifetime. Yeah. So has it changed your conception about India, what you actually thought well, before coming no, here? Yes and no, because it, it, the cows in the street wandering around <laughs> take a while to get used to the driving. It's crazy, but it works. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to work. I don't know how, but uh, e there's even tours of motorbikes and cycling you can do here. So, and they, the English people I spoke to said it works. And um, there's one cow every five miles, so you're <laughs> weaving in and out of cows, but you don't have to worry about it because the driver is so comfortable with it. And uh, but the craziness of the and the colour. The colour and excitement of the people is just overwhelming, and the, and they are so peaceful and gentle and friendly. Ge and friendly because of the religion, and you learn all about that when you get here. So, did you enjoy your uh, market walks? And yes, the market walks almost. Uh, it was just it's so intense, but uh, we bought carpets. We bought um, at a wholesalers. We bought what else? We bought. Uh, We've been shopping quite a bit. Quite a bit. We've been Next enjoying time, yeah. the shopping. Very, very <laughs> good prices, and um, it's so much choice. Yeah. It's just overwhelming. Everything's overwhelming compared to New Zealand. Yeah. In New Zealand, you pay top price. You want top quality, you've got to pay top price for everything. Here, it's a pl it, the competition is intense, and you can you can barter in most places <coughs> and uh, get exactly the colours and shades and size and. They'll do anything to sell to you, so. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't felt pressured on them. Yeah, you they're can, not pressured. They're you very can say smart. No, they'll show you very the stuff quick. they've got, but they're happy you, for you to just say you've no. You've got to be a bit on your guard anything. because mm. of the, the selection is just so big. Yeah. Um, you feel yeah. comfortable around in the temples, like in the Sikh oh, temples? Yes. Um, the, wasn't the, wasn't a, an alien thing or new thing for you? Like it the was, temples, but you feel a bit out of place because because of the. Um, the um, the religion, but they they don't worry and they've been very welcoming. Very welcoming. And don't even mind you taking photos. Because they love nature and people, and everybody is welcome. So, but you're only there for a little while, but they're very welcoming. Did you enjoy uh, meeting local people, like a local family in Jaipur, 
and other activities like boat ride or dance show and all sort of activities you have done. Yep, tried for. Yeah, yeah where we got the family home visit. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, in home, yeah, see how they cook and... Had a little cooking lesson which mm -hmm. was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's changing. It's becoming a lot more westernised. The young, the costumes yep. and the I love the um, costumes and the leopard safari. Oh yeah, you've got to come to support the uh, wildlife that are uh, crammed into a small area and in danger. Uh, they're not even in parks. They're living with the on ro huge rocks with the, the leopard. It's a, uh, there's a whole family of leopards at Naira. Not Nali. Nali, Nali. You must yep. go to Nali and go on safari and support the conservation of wildlife. It's just amazing. Cool. Um, what about the dance show? What do you think about the dance show in Odepo? The what? Dance show. Uh, we saw two dance shows, one in, in Odepo and one um, out at the desert. And both of them were um, very, really good to see a bit of the traditional and dance. And puppet shows. <laughs> and puppet shows. Puppet yeah, shows. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, Kiwi and Tiger's got really good variety. We had a farm stop and oh, farm stop looked at the farm and the leopard safari and... Yes, if you're um, interested in agriculture... There's just a good balance yeah. between the forts and the temples uh, and then the home, cotton, home life and the Cotton growing, millet farm. growing. Yeah. They're putting sowing wheat now. There's two crops per seat. They can grow two crops in a year. All these sort of things you learn. Mm. We're in a very arid area here where they can only grow millet. You learn so yeah. much. I know, I'd recommend, Kiwi and Tiger I think have got a really good itinerary. The best and itinerary. We've had two weeks here in Rajasthan and really enjoyed and it. And you get Phoenix so much bang for your buck, I tell yeah. you. You get so much bang for your buck. Yeah. And I'm not kidding. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that.